Hi everyone, I'm Kelsey and welcome back to my channel, Connecting with Spirit. So in today's video, I am going to be channeling some light language uh, for hope. Um, you will have the opportunity to set an intention if there's something in particular um, that you would like to receive in relation to hope. Uh, you'll have the opportunity to receive that. I'm going to take you through a grounding as usual, put in some protection and we'll just see what happens, whatever comes true for this. It's a really nice day, the sun here is shining, breaking through the clouds and the energy of nature is very much apparent in this session as well. There's also a few birds about, um, so they might be joining me, <laughs> chiming in with their light language, but yeah. Other than that, um, I'm just going to get straight into this. So if this sounds like something you'd like to receive, uh, please do give your permission in whatever way feels comfortable for you. And I'm going to ask my healing team of light just to connect me in, connect me in, connect me in into all those souls who have given their permission to receive this light language transmission today. Thank you. I'm going to call in your healing teams of light to join mine. And I'm going to ask them to activate a sacred space around all of us now energetically and to activate, activate, activate a golden dome around us to anchor it in for protection. I'm also going to ask them if there's any non-beneficial energy. Any energy that doesn't have our best interests at heart that's in this sacred space for that to be banished <laughs> or cleared from it now. So this space is pure and high vibrational. Also have Palladian energy coming in as well as they usually like to do. <sighs> Thank you. So, I'm just taking a minute or two to put your hands on your heart if that feels comfortable. And taking a second to get really clear on what intention you'd like to set for this session today. And either setting your intention out loud or in your mind, whatever feels most comfortable. While you're doing that, I'm going to set my own intention, which is to channel angelic light language of the highest and purest love and light vibrational frequency from my heart to all those who have given their permission to receive this transmission today for hope, whatever needs or wants to come through in relation to their intention for what's best for them and for the highest good and the highest good of all with love gentleness ease and grace please and thank you very much So I'm going to take you through a little bit of a grounding now just to ensure that you're fully uh, grounded into the earth to energetically prepare you to receive this light language transmission today. So I'm hearing we're going to be calling down uh, it's the rainbow ray rainbow energy for this today which is a little bit different because I usually call in source but it's a rainbow ray today. Um, so 
if you would like to uh, just get comfortable and if it feels comfortable for you to close your eyes, do so. Otherwise, just leave them open, whatever feels best for you. And I'm going to call down the rainbow ray to your stellar gateway chakra, into your soul star chakra just above your head. It's just going to open and activate these chakras. And I'm hearing they are being like illuminated and filled with the energy of hope. As this rainbow ray continues down into your crown chakra, just opening, activating, illuminating with hope. As it continues down into your third eye chakra, opening, activating, illuminating with hope. As the rainbow energy continues to spiral down into your throat chakra, opening, activating, illuminating with hope. And the energy moves down into your heart chakra on higher heart and heart opening, illuminating with hope and activating. As the rainbow ray continues to flow across your shoulders down your arms and into your hands opening activating and illuminating your hand chakras with hope shooting at your fingertips so beautiful reminds me of those like i think they're care bears where they shoot rainbows out of their hearts that sort of energy is what i'm seeing right now um, as the rainbow ray continues to spiral into your solar plexus chakra, just opening, illuminating, activating with hope. And it continues down into your sacral chakra, opening, activating, illuminating with hope. Continuing to flow into your root chakra, opening, activating, illuminating with hope. And spirals into your knee chakras, opening, activating, illuminating with hope. Flowing down into your feet chakras, opening, activating, illuminating with hope. And down into the earth, into your earth star chakra, opening, activating, illuminating and hope. with hope. <laughs> I'm just being guided to... Bring your awareness, your attention, or to just advise, <laughs> it's the words going to mind, or remind you to check in with your psychic senses and to see what it is that you can feel as I'm taking you through this guided meditation. To see what you can pick up, to connect in with the energies. As this rainbow energy continues to flow and spiral down through the different levels and layers of the earth, where I'm going to ask that you're plugged into the heart of Mother Earth Gaia, separately and independently from everybody. I'm going to call in Mother Earth Gaia, calling in Mother Earth Gaia, calling in Mother Earth Gaia. And I'm going to ask Gaia just to ground Earth, anchor, connect and align you to her now. Fully and completely and ensure that you are fully and completely present in your physical body as well. Or as much as possible to remove any blocks that are preventing you from being there. I'm being fully grounded to remove those blocks as well. I'm just seeing uh, like an emerald green, a green ray coming up from Gaia. And it's spiraling around that rainbow ray cord that we plugged into her heart. And it's dancing around that and coming up through the different levels and layers of Earth. And into your Earth Star Chakra. And it's just really like earthy grounded energy 
just ensuring that you're very stable and secure and anchored and connected into the earth as this energy just continues to move up into your feet again just really anchoring you connecting you grounding you down as it moves up into your ankles your shins calves knees thighs and into your root grounding anchoring you connecting in you into the earth stability security support all these sorts of beautiful energies coming in as this energy travels up your abdomen chest down your shoulders arms and into your palms and Mother Earth Gaia is, again, extending an invitation to connect. I just see her, like, holding your hands. So it's like she's reaching out her hands to you um, as an invitation to connect with her. If that's something that you would like to do, feel free. Now and at a later time, she would very much love to connect with you. And right now, it's just an opportunity to connect into her energy. You can also talk to her. And if there's something on your mind that you want to say, feel free to do that as well. She is very open and receptive to hearing uh, whatever it is that you want to say to her. As the beautiful green light, green ray moves up into your throat, your chin, cheeks, nose, eyes, foreheads, and up to your crown, grounding you, anchoring you, earthing you, connecting you into the earth, ensuring that you're fully and completely present in your physical body. As this energy continues to move up into your soul star chakra, stellar gateway chakra, and I'm going to ask that you're plugged into the grid that's best for you at this time. Could be an earth grid, could be a galactic grid. It just depends on you and your origins and where you're at at the minute. But just know that you're going to be plugged into the one that's best for you right now. And if you're curious, you can always ask and just tune in and see which one it is for you. But you are fully and, fully and completely supported above and below, just held in this sacred container for this healing today. So I'm going to call in, I'm going to thank Gaia. Thank you very much, Gaia. And I'm going to call in Archangel Michael. Calling in Archangel Michael. Calling in Archangel Michael. I'm going to ask Michael to activate, activate, activate a blue shield around each and every one of you now and to anchor that in for protection. If there is specific protection that you would like to ask Michael to program into your uh, blue bubble, uh, please do let Michael know and he will program that in for you. So an example is protection against psychic attack. these sorts of things but whatever kind of comes to mind if you just want to take a second just to tune in and see if there's anything specific that you would like to program into the blue bubble Thank you very much, Michael. He's still going. <laughs> so I'm just going to give him another 
few seconds. And again, another opportunity to connect in, to tune in to Michael's energy, just to see what you can sense with your psychic senses. And Michael extending an invitation to connect as well to a few of you. If you feel strongly about Michael, you might have a connection there. Thank you, Michael. I'm going to call in Archangel Zadkiel as well. Calling in Archangel Zadkiel. Calling in Archangel Zadkiel. I'm going to ask Zadkiel just to pass the violet flame down through your entire energy fields, bodies, systems, chakras. And just to clear, and this sacred space, just to clear, cleanse, completely remove and transmute any energetic debris. Anything that might have come up as a result of us bringing through the rainbow ray and the energy from Gaia. Just to completely clear it, transmute it, so that your energy field is left clear. And also <laughs> being guided by Zadkiel to offer an invitation to connect as well. If you feel drawn to Zadkiel, might have a connection with him. He would very much like to connect with you at a later stage if that's something that you would like. All you need to do is set an intention or to ask for Zadkiel to reach out and connect with you. Or you can do it yourself, just get into um, a place where you feel safe a quiet space and then just call Zadkiel in three times and ask if it's okay to connect in with his energy and just set the intention to connect and see what happens tuning into your psychic senses to see what you can pick up thank you Zadkiel <clears throat> okay, I'm going to call in Archangel Metatron. Calling in Archangel Metatron. Calling in Archangel Metatron. I'm just going to ask Metatron to lower a pillar of white light down around each and every one of you. Excuse me, some clearing happening. And to anchor that into your excuse me, your energy field. From the violet flame, I would imagine the clearing. And again, uh, Metatron also extending an invitation to connect. If any of you feel really strongly drawn to Metatron, he would love to connect with you. And just taking the opportunity to connect in with Metatron's energy now to see what you can sense with your psychic senses. Apologies for the shaky video, <laughs> so I'm just trying to get comfortable. My feet have gone to sleep. And when you're ready, I'm going to channel the light language. And all you need to do is breathe and receive. And again, just tuning in to see what you can sense. Whatever that might be, might be nothing at all. 
just truly okay to you. And taking three deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. And if there's anything in particular that you are hoping for, to say that out loud or in your mind, as it's going to be received by the angels. Like putting in a request. Also, unicorn energy is well coming in. I think they were coming in with the rainbow. We're also receiving your hopes. <sighs> Thank you. 
thank you and I'm just going to begin a little bit of a close down so I'm going to ask Archangel Metatron just to ensure that you are fully grounded anchored earth connected and aligned to the heart of Mother Earth Gaia and that you're fully and completely present in your physical body after that transmission or as much as you can be at this time depending on where you're at thank you Metatron I'm going to ask Metatron just to balance, harmonize, stabilize, recalibrate and realign all levels, layers, bodies, fields and systems of you <coughs> so just being guided because that's what the coughing was about trying to get my attention to say that some of you won't feel fully grounded either um, because you might have some blocks and different things that you need to work through in order to to be fully grounded into the earth um, some for some of you it might be like trauma related be feeling unsafe in the body it also might be to do with the ascension symptoms sometimes you pop out when um, the high vibrational energy is coming in and changes are happening to your physical body and it's just really uncomfortable to be in your physical body so you feel ungrounded or spacey um, you're, you're just not fully present in your physical body or if you have chronic pain in your body as well that can also be uh, something that happens where you pop out or if indeed you are a star seed and you just do not like being here on earth because it's the energy is very low vibrational and you would much rather be in the higher realms sometimes you find you might find that you pop out of your body because you don't want to be here <sighs> <laughs> just passing on those messages <laughs> after my coughing fits thank you Metatron I'm just going to ask that you're in it fully in alignment with yourself your heart higher heart soul, higher self your divinity in alignment with your path and your purpose as well <sighs> connected in i'm gonna ask archangel metatron just to zip you up zip up your aura zip up your aura so you feel strong safe secure within your energy fields confident moving forward on your path full of hope Thank you very much, Metatron. And I'm going to ask Metatron just to close down everything. Healing portals, vortexes, channels, anything that was open, the sacred healing space, the golden dome. I'm going to ask him to disconnect me, disconnect me, disconnect me from all of those souls who have given their permission for this video. Gently returning your energy to you and gently taking your energy back to me. So we are separate and independent once more. And I'm going to ask for cords to be pulled out between us. Any cords that were activated as a result of this healing. Metatron, please pull them out. Transmute them with the violet flame. And heal and repair all the areas where you have taken these cords out, please. I'm also being guided to say um, that you will probably need to cleanse your energy field. So either uh, taking a shower, a bath, or visualizing some sort of fire or violet flame coming through your energy field. It's also a good kind of practice to get into the habit of, this is why I'm not doing it, but I'm just putting it out there for you as a bit of homework. 
and this is just what I'm being guided to say, which I have been saying in a few of my other videos as well, uh, seems to be a theme at the minute that they really would like you to do um, some like spiritual hygiene practices, just clearing your energy fields. You can also do it with uh, like sage smudging, that sort of stuff as well. Um, yep. So it's a, a gentle reminder that it, it would be a good idea to get into this habit to just clear your energy fields um, because some things might have been released as a result of the uh, light language. I'm also going to put down a few of the other kind of tips that I also give um, after you've had a session in the description box if you'd like to have a look at them. Uh, Primarily one of them is just lying down and allowing the energy to settle and integrate. And as you do that, you might get some messages or clarity insights or um, lower dimensional energies might come up as well to be processed and just how to deal with that if that happens. So that'll be in the description box if you'd like to check that out for a little bit of uh, post-session care. So yeah, do look after yourself after the session. Be gentle with yourself and hopefully you're feeling good and hopeful. <laughs> As a, um, a magpie just flies in my eye line here. Uh, so it's an animal omen. If that resonates, take it for you. Uh, just tuning in to see what the message is or looking it up the spiritual meaning and taking what resonates right now i'm hearing about good fortune and good luck so i'm just going to tune in to see if there's anything else to say <laughs> and i'm just being guided to thank everybody thank you so much for being here uh for your healing teams of light for all the energies that were present during this session and from my heart to yours namaste So I'd love to hear from you. Uh, do let me know how you got on in this session in the comments below. Uh, yeah, really curious as to how people um, experience these energies. So if you feel cold, do let, leave me a comment. And other than that, thank you so much for being here. I hope you've gotten all that you need. Um, and until next time, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>